I'm used to hearing about feedback as just either positive or negative. Yes. Or if your manager's being really, you know, politically correct, they might talk about constructive feedback and avoid the word negative feedback, right? You know, that's the way most of us talk about feedback. Um, and there's that, but that's not that helpful to employees, right? Because employees know if what they're hearing is positive or negative. So what I find a much better distinction. This comes from Douglas Stone and Sheila Heen from the book, Thanks for the Feedback. This distinction between three kinds of feedback, not two, but three. So coaching, evaluation, and appreciation. So appreciation, Appreciation would be what most of us would call positive feedback, okay? So appreciation is what you're doing well. So that might be, Johnny, I love how you make every guest feel like I'm a friend, right? I feel like we've known each other forever, right? And that makes listeners want to pay attention because they're like, if he's, if she's his friend, then, then I want to learn about her, right? So that's an impact that you have. So that would be appreciation. Um, coaching is advice, right? So coaching would be what you can do to improve. That might be, you might say to Emily, Emily, I noticed you're kind of quiet in our Zoom meetings. Um, you know, what could I do to help you speak more? That would be, you know, and you're, you're trying to solicit what does Emily need and how can I help her? And then the last, the third one there is evaluation. And evaluation is where you stand. So evaluation might be, you have to tell Alex, like, Alex, the past few months, your output has been half of what it should be, or at least half of the other people on the team. What's going on for you? What obstacles are you running into? And so appreciation, coaching, and evaluation. And, and people need all three kinds of advice. Um, we, we, all, we all get better if we have all three kinds of advice or all three kinds of feedback.